All right, we got a problem here from uh, somebody named Ged, I think, or Jed. Um, and so we're going to do a breadth first search on uh, to make a spanning tree for this graph. Uh, the difference between a tree and a graph is that a tree has no cycles. So we see here we have a what's called a cycle um, because it, it's a square and it's all connected. Well, not all connected. Uh, we don't have e to g or h to f, but there's a cycle there. And then we have a cycle here as well, this triangle. Um, OK, so we want to choose d as the root of the spanning tree and assume that the vertices are ordered alphabetically. Uh, that just has to do with how we add them into um, kind of our queue. It's a list, and uh, we just uh, first in is the first thing that we take care of. We just take them, take care of the vertices, the edges, as as we get them. So we're going to um, add in the edges, or that yeah, the edges coming out of D, and we add them uh, in this order because um, that's that's what it um, says. So C to D, and then D to E. And then D to F. That's because um, it's alphabetically ordered. Um, okay, so so we have C to D first. We're going to do that, and we've taken care of C to D. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to add on the edges uh, coming out of C that we haven't already taken care of. So that's C to A and C C to B. Okay, so our next thing that we're going to do is D to E. Note that, you know, this is a breadth first search. So we're going um, essentially in the order dictated by our list. And things added on to the list at the end um, are going to be taken care of later. And now we add on the edges connected to E. And now we need to do E to F first because, again, this is alphabetical. So F, be, F comes before H in, in the And now we're going to add another, so D to F. And this is kind of a feature of breadth first, is that you kind of get these edges centered at D first. OK. Um, so then, OK, we need to add on. The things adjoined to F. Now, um, I think strictly speaking, we we put F to E in the queue, but we're going to see that we're not actually going to do that one. Uh, and then we do F to G. And those are the only other ones. Okay. Now we're going to do C to A because that's next in our list. We cross that off. Um, and I guess we can add on A to B. OK. And now we do C to B. And um, I think, you know, because we've already got A with something, we don't need to add um, B to A, but we can. And we'll just see that, you know, we're not really going to do that because it's going to create a cycle. OK, and then, yeah, so we can't do E to F, right, because that would create a three cycle, uh, three vertices cycle. So we're going to do E to H. Um, and we need to add the things connected to H. So that's H to G. And then H to I. And then F to E, ah, we can't do that, because that creates a cycle. So we're going to do F to G. And we add the things on to G. So that's G to H. Um, again, I don't know if you necessarily have to put that in our queue, but um, you know, when you look at it, when we're actually going to look at adding it, we're not going to up adding it because that will create a cycle. And then we do G to J. 
then we're gonna do, okay, so we can't do A to B because that creates a cycle, can't do B to A, so can't do H to G, but can do H to I. And we don't add anything because I is not connected to anything except H. So we did that, uh, can't do G to H, um, again, because of the cycle, and then we're gonna do G to J, and that is our spanning tree. Uh, you can see that we hit each of the vertices, uh, and we don't have any cycles. So, there you go. Thank you.